I don't say this often, but this might be the end of Photoshop and Canva. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and Google just unveiled Nano Banana, its state-of-the-art image generation model that is blowing everyone's mind on the internet. Nano Banana, also known as Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, retains character and scene consistency while allowing you to change anything about the image that you want by simply typing to it in plain English. In this video, I'll show you how to use Nano Banana for completely free. I'll show you the craziest use cases of Nano Banana. And at the very end, I'll show you the biggest business opportunities with Google's latest image and model. Make sure that you watch till the end, hit the like button and subscribe and let's get into Nano Banana. Okay, so this is Nano Banana by Google available to you in Gemini and Google AI Studio. The way it works is that you give it an image, you give it a prompt, and it completely changes the look of the image by just describing what you want to be changed, as you can see right here. You can also give it two images. You can ask it to combine the image. Let's say both of them are cuddling, and then you see a picture of the dog and the girl cuddling in one image itself. You can ask it to change the interiors of a room that you want by adding elements, and it does it seamlessly, as you can see right here. Now you can go to Google AI Studio, and go to build and this is where you can see all the apps that Google has made using the latest Nano Banana model. For example, we go to fast forward. This is a free app that they've made in which you simply upload an image of yourself. So I'll just say upload photo. Let's say I want to upload this image of mine and I click on generate. It will basically create images of mine from the past decades. So how I would look like in 1970s, 2000s, 1990s, and so on and so forth. And as you can see, this is all the pictures of me using Nano Banana in all of the decades. I don't know which one you like the most, but I particularly like the one in 1980s. Let me open this up. Okay, as you can see, it retains my face, it adds the outfit, it adds all the background, and it makes it look very real. I don't think you can tell that this is fake. You also have PixShop in which you can upload an image of yourself and do all types of retouching and professional editing that you want to. So I'll put an image of myself. I can crop it if I want to do that. I can put some filters. Let's say I want to make myself anime. I can apply this filter and it will turn me into anime and it turned me into an anime. That is the power of Nano Banana, but this is just one way to use it. The real way to use it is by literally just going to Gemini and just importing an image. So you can choose the tool to be image and just drop an image of yourself. And by simply describing the changes you want in English, you can make any change to it that you want. First of all, you can add text. So let's say we can say add text on the navy shirt he is wearing. Cool. Let's just say we say that with a logo of Google, for example, and it's going to add that on the image itself. And it's super fast. That's another great advantage of having Nano Banana is that every change that it does, you can see it in about five to 10 seconds. As you can see, the image is already ready as I'm speaking to you and it is good to go. As you can see, it added the, this text of cool along with the Google logo. But there's a lot more that you can do. You can, let's just say, change his hairstyle to that of men in 1970s. And it's going to change the hairstyle of mine while retaining everything else as it was before. As you can see, it's already generating the image and I can keep describing more changes to it. As you can see, it changed my hairstyle right here. I can also add or remove items that I want. So let's say I say remove the watch that he is wearing on both his hands. There you go. Both the watches are gone and it retains everything else like we had before. I can keep adding more stuff to it. Add Elon Musk behind him standing and resting his hands on the shoulder of the guy. Let's just do that. It's going to put an image of Elon Musk standing over here, resting his hands on my shoulder. Now you can also swap faces that you want. Let's just say I want to swap my face with that of, there you go, that is Elon Musk. Swap the face of the big hair guy with Donald Trump. See, I want to do that. See, you can even make mistakes with the spelling and it will still 
understand what you are trying to communicate because it is built on the 2.5 flash model by Gemini and our image is almost ready for us to see and there you go it swaps faces as well and it retains everything else let's just say change the outfit of the guy sitting and make it old money style you can change outfits as well what you can also do is you can literally go to zara let's just say i want to try on an outfit so we go to zara we go on to the best sellers let's just say i want to see how i will look if i will wear this jacket so i'll take this jacket i will basically click a picture of this and I will add it here. Make the sitting guy wear this jacket and it's going to now change that outfit. As you can see, this is an old money outfit according to it. And apparently Donald Trump is still wearing glasses because I was wearing glasses before. So there is that. And you can literally just add any outfit that you want to yourself by just describing to it in English. How cool is that? This has never been possible before. Yes, you can add stuff before, but it also changes other parts of the image. As you can see, the, the coat is gone and the jacket is on, and you can just keep telling it to do more and more things that you want. It is so insane. Like the final image is this, and we started with this image of myself. You can even ask it to show you different angles of this same picture. So show me the side angle of this, image and there you go this is what the side angle would look like but we're just scratching the surface you can also use nano banana for marketing and creating ads for example i have this product which is iphone 16 pro max and i can ask it to create a banner ad and show me how that looks show me the banner ad of this iphone 16 pro max near the airport and also add a very powerful one liner slogan for the Apple iPhone. Take the Mumbai airport road, for example, and it's going to make an image of a massive banner ad in which this iPhone is visible and it can also put some ad copy of it. Now imagine that you have a product. You can literally put an image of your product on the banner. You can put it in that view and you can see how it looks like. As you can see, there you go. And as you can see, it added not just the product itself. It even added the Apple logo, the exact typography of iPhone 16 Pro Max. It added a slogan, Capture Tomorrow Today. And it gave it the banner ad aesthetic and it put it in the Mumbai airport road itself. How crazy is that? And you can keep creating more and more ads. Create a bus stop ad with this iPhone 16 Pro Max image and add a quirky one-liner slogan. And it's going to make a simple bus stop ad where people are standing, they are waiting, and so they can see the ad right next to the bus stop. And there you go. This is what a bus stop ad for iPhone 16 Pro Max would look like. Warning, may cause extreme photo envy. As you can see, it's really smart at understanding text, understanding the visuals, and putting it exactly where it needs to be. And you can also turn any image into an ad that you want. So for example, turn this image into a Bumble ad with a one-liner slogan and the branding and colors of Bumble. So we can basically turn this image into an ad in seconds using Gemini's 2.5 flash image. And there you go. This is how it looks like. You can even create entire YouTube thumbnails by just using Nano Banana and let me show you how. So this right here is a picture of myself with a laptop and I can add this prompt which says make a YouTube thumbnail, dimensions we don't need to specify, put the guy with the laptop at the center, replace the background, put a coding related background, put logos of Python programming language, JavaScript, C++ around the guy, make some golden light come out of the laptop screen, 
that the guy is looking at put text start coding now at the center bottom and i can literally just press enter and it would create an entire youtube thumbnail for me this is huge this was never possible before i've tried flux i've tried all the other image generation models and this was always a big problem the only limitation with this model as you can see this is what the thumbnail looks like so it has the logos it has the person it has the golden light coming it has the coding background it got the text right as well and it just looks great <clears throat> the only limitation is that the resolution dimensions of the output image will be the same as that of the input image you can even ask it to swap faces in any thumbnail that you like so for example you go to youtube you like a particular thumbnail download that thumbnail and say remove the guy in the right from this image and it will remove this person from this thumbnail itself and then i can insert myself into this thumbnail and it will look very real let me just show you how good it looks and as you can see the person over here is gone now i can input my own image and it will basically put me in this image and there you go this is what it looks like you can always ask it uh, make the guy on the right really big it will make the person bigger but the point here is that it is now possible to create entire youtube thumbnails by just describing what you want to it there has never been a better time to become a prompt engineer because you need to know exactly what to tell it so that you get the best outputs from these models and there is still a lot more that you can do so imagine that you are viewing maps of any place and you want to see exactly what this monument looks like in real time you can put a image of this map for example i'll put an image of let's just say i want to put this image and i want to see exactly what sea link looks like from the perspective of this arrow so i'll add this and i'll say draw a ground view picture from the arrow and show me what it looks like now because it is using the world knowledge of gemini 2.5 flash it knows exactly what this place would look like and it can draw a picture of that and show it to me in real time and this is the image that i got in return this is the view from dadar of sea link how cool is that you can pretty much just go to maps let's say i'll go to maps i want to go to london and i want to see what does the tower bridge look like so i can go on to tower bridge i can click a screenshot of this and i can plot an arrow and ask it to show me what this place looks like and then i can go into gemini i can upload this image i can go on to images and i can say show me the ground view from the perspective of the a arrow there you go this is what it would look like from that view itself how cool is that i also asked it to draw the ground view of gateway of india mumbai and it gave me this image right here as you can see over here itself so this is a really powerful model that can give you images of pretty much anything that you can imagine you can even take multiple images and drop it into one big image like so so we have some outfits we have a dog we have some glasses we have a car we have headphones we have a parrot and we can literally integrate all of these images into one image itself like we have over here so i just said take all the elements and craft one image with it as you can see it made this image right here which has all of the elements and notice how polished it all looks it in includes the outfit all the other elements the person the car everything now here comes the big opportunity with nano banana imagine creating an application which is powered by gemini 2.5 flash image model and creating something that adds value to people's lives for example giving them a particular style of their images helping them remove particular elements in their images helping them create new variations of their images create a app that makes it really in intuitive for people to just tap buttons and change anything that they want in the image create a virtual try on clothing app in which people can literally drag and drop outfits they see on H&M or on Instagram and they can add it 
to themselves and see how they will look if they are wearing that outfit. You can literally just start building anything that you want. You can go on to build and you can say, create a virtual try on app using Gemini 2.5 flash image where your user can drop an image of the outfit and it a image of their own and it shows how they would look if they will buy this outfit press on enter and it will create this app in front of you it's going to start writing the code in front of you and in about a few minutes this app will be ready for you to preview now the coolest part is imagine if they try out this outfit using your app you can have a link for them to buy this outfit on your app itself and you can start earning affiliate commissions. Okay, let's try to upload the image of myself and I can upload an image of an outfit. So let's go on to Zara once again and I will choose this jacket for myself. I think I can go on to this screenshot and I will just drop it over here. So I have this leather jacket and I will virtually try on the jacket right here and see how it looks like. And there you go. This is the image of me trying out this outfit. Now you can do a lot more with this. You can allow people to download this image. You can allow people to further make some changes to this image. You can also allow them to upload more outfits that they want to try on top of it. You can also just launch this app. So if you want to deploy this app, you can go to deploy to cloud run and you can create a real app that people can use with this link itself. You can also share this app. So I can click on save and I will now be able to share this link of this app. I'll put it in the description of this video. If you want to try it out, you can try out and let me know what you think of it. But in less than like five minutes, I was able to build an app which looks so good. It works so well. I can obviously make more changes to the UI of it. But honestly, this is the best opportunity for you to make an app that millions of people can use every single day to make their lives better and for them to edit images more effectively. And Google's Nano Banana is just the starting of what the future of image editing would look like. It would only improve from here. So it makes a lot of sense for you to figure out a business idea that uses the API of Gemini 2.5 flash image. You can now access Nano Banana on the API and create powerful apps that you've never done before. You can just go to AI Studio, which has direct access of 2.5 flash image model and start using it to build any app that you want to and see how it looks. If it works well, then you can go on to Lovable or Replit and try building a full end-to-end -end app by just vibe coding and launching it for your users to use. It's all about how creative you can be, what use case you can find for people to use this image editing software and launch it and grow it into a real money-making business. That is all from me today. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. This was Google's Nano Banana. Have you tried it yourself? Let me know below your experience and I will see you all in the next video. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this with a friend. Let me know if you have any questions below in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.